Welcome back to Tuscany. I'm Danilo Romolini and today we are in Arezzo. In between the Tuscan hills I'm gonna show you a dream. The dream of a family that believed in a project and today is harvesting its results. Come with me. The property we're viewing today is a 23 hectares gated organic wine estate with accommodation business, Chianti DOCG wine production and olive grove. Let's go and have a look. The vineyard has a total surface of 3 hectares with 2 hectares of Chianti DOCG and one hectare of Toscano EGT, with 21,000 bottles produced per year. Right now, they're harvesting. Let's go and ask to Jacopo, the vineyard manager, how it's going. Jacopo, Hi. how is it going this year? It's very promising. We're waiting for a great vintage. Look. That's beautiful. Let's see the rest of the property. In terms of buildings, there are two luxury restored villas for the accommodation business and a third one for the owner. Right behind us, we see the winery divided on two floors with on the ground floor, the restaurant and a wine tasting area and also a shop. And in the underground floor, the actual wine cellar. Let's go and have a look. The winery has been built in such a way to keep both the traditional Italian features and modern solutions like these big windows to allow so much light to come in. We're now inside the ground floor of the wine cellar. Here we find the shop and on the mezzanine floor the offices. On this side, we find the restaurant or wine tasting area. Jacopo, the vineyard manager, prepared us some typical Tuscan products that you usually eat with the wine tasting. This is some olive oil produced here. And this is the wine produced in the vineyard. Let's now go to the underground floor and see the actual winery. We're now on the lower floor of the winery. In the meanwhile, the harvesting has been going on and here we find all the collected Sangiovese grapes from the estate. These are all hand collected and from here, they're gonna go inside that machine to separate the fruit from the green part. We're now inside the winery. Through this tube, the fluids are gently pushed inside these steel vats through a peristaltic pump. A very important characteristic of this winery is that its terroir guarantees a very precious aroma to the wine. This is very well kept through the fermentation thanks to the temperature controlled steel vats. This is a small and special winery because it has been built with bio architecture and has been awarded for the Tuscan wine architecture which is a circuit 
of only 14 selected designer wineries, designed by the greatest 20th century architects, combining innovative technology with beautiful designs. We're now outside one of the two villas for the accommodation business. This style of property is called Leopoldina, which is characterized by these two arches and it's very typical of Tuscany. It has been fully restored and it is over 400 square meters laid out onto two floors with a total of six bedrooms and six bathrooms. Before going inside, let's go and have a look at the swimming pool. This is the 12 by 5 swimming pool, exclusive for this property. It is surrounded by this stone paved solarium and this beautiful garden, perfect to relax during the summer. Let's go and have a look inside the property. We're now inside the Leopoldina. As you can see, it has been fully restored, keeping all the original features. From this entrance room, we get to three bedrooms. There is one over here with its ensuite bathroom, another one here, and the third one over here with the ensuite bathroom. Let's go and have a look at the kitchen. The villa is environmentally friendly thanks to its first-class energy-saving rank. In fact, both of the accommodation properties have the geothermal energy system that allows them to save so much energy. Right now we are in the kitchen and dining area. From each room we can access to the outside under this beautiful loggia. Let's now go upstairs to the first floor. We're now on the first floor of the Leopoldina. Here we find another apartment with this beautiful living area with these huge windows that have this incredible view over Arezzo and let so much light coming in. And over here there is the kitchen. The kitchen has its own fireplace and it divides the whole apartment. In fact, there is one bedroom over there with ensuite bathroom. Over here, there is another bedroom with ensuite bathroom on the right and one on the left. Through this arch, we pass to this area with a laundry room and a kitchen. Through this door we also find a second independent access. Just beside the Leopoldina but completely independent we find the Villa Mandorlo which gets its name from a beautiful and huge almond tree just beside the villa. Mandorlo in Italia means almond. It is laid out into two floors with a total of five bedrooms and six bathrooms. Outside we find this beautiful garden with just beside it this rounded swimming pool. We're now inside the villa. As soon as you get in you find this big living area. It has been fully restored just like the Leopoldina, keeping all the original features. From here we find one bedroom with ensuite bathroom. Over here there is on the left a bedroom with ensuite bathroom and direct access to the outside. The middle door is a secondary access for the villa and on the right there are the stairs to go upstairs. Let's go and view the kitchen. We're now inside the kitchen. That's probably my favorite room because it is so spacious and it has these big windows 
that lets you see through right into the garden and it feels like you're outside. It kind of looks like a winter garden. Over here there is the kitchen and here there is the pizza oven or bread oven and through this door you can go directly to the garden. But now let's go upstairs. We're now on the first floor of the villa. Here we find three bedrooms with ensuite bathroom. There is one over there, another one over here. Behind this door there is a storage and last but not least I'm gonna show you my favorite room. It is not the biggest but it has an incredible feature. In fact it has its own ensuite bathroom and two beautiful balconies that have an amazing view on Arezzo. Look at this view. Imagine waking up in the morning and coming out to the balcony and having this incredible scenery. On the highest part of the estate we find the owner's farmhouse. It has five bedrooms and six bathrooms. An incredible view on the vineyards and right behind Arezzo. And of course its own wonderful swimming pool. If you want to see it on the inside I'll be glad to show you if you come over to Toscany. This property is a real dream, nestled in between the Tuscan hills, built following eco-friendly solutions to help the world improve one bottle at a time. I hope you enjoyed this tour, see you next time.